I decided to train my dog by myself. People were laughing about me. They're like, buddy, look, you don't have experience on dogs. But I was totally focused on the result, what I want to have with this dog. That was a kick in the ass to move forward and create your own style. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Tactical Canine Family. And to have two Belgian Malinois called Eris, six years old, and Athena, three years old. I fell in love with dogs at a really young age. I was always dreaming about having a dog, but the timing was always wrong. 29 years, I woke up on a sunny Sunday morning and I um, saw a breeder who are selling puppies and there were only four of them left. So after a few hours, uh, we were on the way to the personal breeder. Eris was the smallest one and the shyest of them. He was looking a little bit sad. <laughs> so we picked up Eris and uh, he became our first dog. We had no experience, we had no leash, no color, nothing. Why we decided to have a Belgian Malinois? I saw the movie called Max. It's about a military dog back in those days and uh, retired and people just get him from a shelter and give him a second chance. Um, so I fall in love with this breed out of the movie. Figure out really fast, okay, Malinois is super active dog. Totally insane in the head. Love to work. Need a lot of attention. It's not a dog for a first pet owner. You have to have experience. So uh, I was scared. But I was totally focused on the result. What I want to have with this dog. So my dream was to be as close as possible to the movie. To have a dog with a lot of knowledge, a smart dog. I was ready to teach him and was ready to change my lifestyle for the love to the dog. So we had Eris, 13 weeks old Belgian Malinois, with no experience. The really high goal about having a full working dog like the Special Force working dogs where to start, how to start, and when to start, no clue. We start joining the puppy training dog school, the regular one, and uh, really fast we did recognize that those training methods, they were making sense, and they are established over hundreds of years, and it's totally fine. But we figure out it doesn't match with our thoughts and uh, understanding. I left uh, dog training schools and decided to train my dog by myself. The reaction was um, like, are you crazy? You don't have no experience. That was a kick in the to move forward and create your own style. I was looking to have a dog with the knowledge of the elite special force dog. It doesn't matter if you have to jump over fire or rope down a building or whatever, your dog will always support you as, as much as he can and you will always support your dog as much as you can. And that was my goal. So I started training Eris by myself. My first goal beside training the regular basic stuff to a dog is going to be to rope down a building with Eris having on my back. People were laughing about me. They're like, buddy, look, you don't have experience on dogs. Okay, you start your own dog training system. We aren't sure if you manage that, but now you come up with such a thing, roping down a building with a dog on your back after four years we finally did it we were finally able to rope down a building with arrows on my back and yeah it was like 
phenomenal feeling. And the next step, we go by helicopter with open doors and uh, some simple maneuvers is like turning right and left with open doors so you see on one side the ground and the other side you see the sky. I, it's really freaky feeling. The reaction towards our Instagram account at the beginning was negative because people were thinking we are making Malinois as a trend talk. But the, it is the opposite side. We are showing people what you have to do with a Malinois to keep him happy in the family. Our training style is not focused on the dog. It's more focused on the dog handler. To become a responsible dog leader, it's all about the unique characteristic of each living creature. So, of the dog handler and the dog. Together, we are a team. This is our training system. A lot of love, boundary, fun. What I do love the most about dogs is the bond between human and animal, as well as the adventure that you can have with the animal 